Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP Training Part 64. This training tutorial, we're going to be taking a look and working with our VTEC tuning. So if you have a Honda engine, it likely has VTEC. We want to be able to vary the fuel and spark timing differently for both the low and the high cam operations. So non-VTEC and VTEC on our VTEC equipped engines. We have to go about this in a specific manner. We're going to talk about how to implement that and build it into our airflow and fuel strategy and into our spark timing strategy. We have a lot to talk about. Let's jump in and let's check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at setting up and working with our VTEC function and programming within our Haltech Elite using our NSP software. Now, our VTEC programming is incredibly simple if we're dealing with an engine such as a Honda B, D, H series engine, a C series, which is an older NSX engine, F series engine, which can mean a Cord or S2000, there's a variety of other engines that have the VTEC function in them from Honda. The programming, the configuration is gonna be the same for every single VTEC engine. What we learn here in this tutorial can also be applied to other engines with a similar type of low and high cam functionality. A Nissan SR20 VE engine is another engine that comes to mind that is going to have this low and high cam type of functionality. So the way this is going to work in a VTEC engine or a similar equipped engine such as that Nissan SR20 VE engine, we'll have a low cam profile. And that profile is going to have good idle output, um, good emissions quality, good economy, it drives nice and smooth. And then we have a high cam profile that's going to be more race oriented profile. It has higher lift, higher duration, and it's a lot more radical. If you try to drive on the VTEC, um, you definitely have less economy and less drivability. So we have this kind of dual personality that we can get out of the same camshaft profile. We can have two different types of lift and duration profiles, two different types of driving characteristics out of the same camshaft. And as a result, because we make more power, uh, more horsepower and torque output out of our engine and we're moving more airflow into the engine with the VTEC engaged, we will find that we have to go and account for fuel and spark timing to being able to make sure we have a properly a VE table expressing that additional airflow coming in. Same with spark timing. Our cylinder pressure is going to change. The engine's more efficient with VTEC. We'll have a different spark timing demand on the engine. So we have to be able to characterize that, which we can easily do, and we have a lot of flexibility here in the programming with our Elite and the NSP software. But we also need to consider the conditions we want to turn on that cam profile, going from the low to high cam. When do we want that to happen? Well, there's all kinds of different scenarios here that we need to go through. So let's first take a look at setting up our VTEC output under various conditions. How do we want to set it up? What makes sense? What's the most logical? Let's go through that first. Then we'll talk about how we can offset our fuel and our spark timing based on what cam profile we're operating on, low or high cam. So let's jump in here and let's take a look. First thing I'm going to do is move from my fuel tuning page, go over to main. Now in the main page, we're going to go into our navigation bar here and we're going to go down under our engine functions. Under engine functions, we're gonna find here that we have an area called valves, and we're specifically looking for, to turn on our VTEC, the cam control switch option. Cam control would be used for variable cam control. So let's say a Honda K series engine has a variable cam that actually rotates the intake cam as the engine's operating and moving to dial more or less overlap out of the engine. If you have a, a Subaru EJ25 engine out of a newer STI, you might have an AVS function, the variable cam function, on both the intake and exhaust cams on that engine. So cam control is not what we want to select, and the variable valve lift, this would be applicable to a Toyota uh, 1, 1ZZ or 2ZZ engine. So it's not going to be something that we have for a Honda engine, specifically with the VTEC function. So we want to go and have cam control switch as the option that we choose right here. Let me go ahead and reset the Elite right here, and we're going to go into engine functions and take a look at this. So we're going to go down here into our cam control switch, and this is where we program the conditions to turn on or off the VTEC function, essentially going from our low to high cam or back from high cam to low cam again. We need to go and have these conditions make sense so that we're not rapidly switching back and forth between being in VTEC and not being in VTEC. Also making sure that we have the proper engagement point. There is going to be a very specific point that's ideal for every engine. And we can easily determine that based on looking at our fueling values from our fuel table. And we'll talk about that here in just a little bit. But the first thing we need to do before we program our conditions and consider this, we want to jump in here to our wiring and configure the output we're using for our VTEC engagement. Now if you look at a Honda VTEC solenoid for any Honda engine, 
you'll find that they're going to have um, a single wire coming out of the VTEC solenoid that'll typically traditionally be a green yellow wire. That's what it turns on the VTEC solenoid to allow the oil to flow through the solenoid to go through to the rocker arms to lock the VTEC arm and to engage the high cam. So it's all oil pressure driven. And all the solenoid is going to do is either allow the oil pressure to build into the rocker arm assemblies or not and turn the function on or off. Very, very basic. It's just essentially an on off. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos are going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.